Hi friends, it's another lovely week of online learning. I know, I look forward to every single one of these days too. So I wanted to go over what you need to work on this week. Um, so we're going to start watching Real Student Moths this week. I'm so excited for you to actually see what a moth looks like when it was in my classroom and we got to watch them together. Okay. Um, I would recommend putting on the captions on the moth when you watch them on YouTube because the audio isn't amazing. I mean, it was just made from my laptop in class. Um, and the captions don't actually match everything that it says, but at least you'll have some guidance. So you will have two student moths to watch. Um, the first one is Ethan Watts's moth. Um, you'll find that on the sample moths page of the Canterbury Tales moth slash moth module. You'll also see Rocco Huston's, Huston's, I've never known how to pronounce his last name, I always mess it up. It's, I always think it's one way and it's actually the other way. So anyway, love him. But his is also on that same page. These are two very different moths, um, but both incredibly good. So you're going to watch both those. I would recommend taking some notes about like things you liked or didn't like. Because on Wednesday from 12 to 1 o'clock, we will, um, you can, it's not mandatory, participate in a Google Hangout with me where we can discuss the moth's arc, voice, theme, things that you noticed about the stories, those sorts of things. And also we can just like, you know, say hi. Wouldn't that be nice? So uh, feel free to join me between 12 and 1 um, that day. After that, you will need to choose a theme and do your own moth outline. Remember, these should be true stories. Don't worry about the length for right now because that's going to end up being not a problem at all. Um, I said before that normally we would choose, you would be assigned a theme, but I'm just going to let you choose. It's just easier. There are a bunch of themes on the list. Um, and the moth outline are also both found on the project directions page in the um, Canterbury Tales slash moth module. That outline is due on Friday at 11.59 p.m. If you need any help walking through it, just email me, we can chat, figure it out. Um, it should be a story that is, shows us something about you. It's not necessarily about somebody else all the time. It's supposed to be about you or show us something about you. So keep that in mind. Um, then you should print out or make a copy of the Miller's Tale, which you'll find on the text slash tales page of the module. Um, you can watch, you should watch the video and follow along taking notes on the Miller's Tale um, with me as I read and annotate um, the tale part one because it's very long. So I'm going to break it into a couple of parts. So um, you'll watch part one and take notes alongside what I'm doing. And we're going to analyze that one, and then we'll see how quickly or slowly that goes and um, how many we might get to. Normally we do several, so we'll see. Um, all right, so I will have my office hours, same as usual, 9 to 10 every day and 4 to 4.30 every day. But I'm always available for check-in and email or Google Hangout or anything like that. I miss you guys. I can't wait to read your outlines and help you. All right, stay safe. Love you. Bye.